In this video, I will show you how the length of the hip rafter, along with the position of the roof rafter, and how wall framing modifications can affect the pitch or slope of the roof and even the fascia board. So let's go ahead and get started with our first example where all of the hips are the same size, length, and positioned at a 45 degree angle and built to where we're not going to have any problems. However, if we were to extend the length of the hip, then you could see where it's going to need to have a shorter wall or support post to keep the same angle. And the walls will need to be higher if we have a shorter hip. And that should make sense by looking at this drawing. So again, this method would be used to keep the same roof pitch. And if I was going to modify the wall framing like I did here, then I will need to modify the top of both of these walls. And that should make a little more sense once we take a look at it from this angle here. So you can see where the locations of the seat cuts are going to change. And the wall will need to be built a little higher and will slope down on each one of the walls. However, if I shorten the length of this board, whether it's going to be a valley rafter, a hip rafter, or a common rafter, and just simply set it on top of an unmodified wall, then I'm going to change the pitch or angle or slope of the new rafter. And of course, this is the main reason why I made the video. And since the angle here has gotten steeper, it's going to create a problem for the fascia board. So the fascia board here is basically going to slope down and then back up if I keep the overhang distance the same. So for example, if I have a two foot overhang, then the fascia board won't be level. However, if I reduced the length of the overhang here, and if I needed to extend it even further over here, then I could create a level section of fascia board on both sides. And hopefully I made my point here. However, if I did not and something didn't make sense, feel free to let us know in the comment area. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.